In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to web scrape Zillow home listings using the RFS packaging R. So let's get started. So this is the site that we will be scraping from. Um, I randomly chose Santa Monica, California. Type on the search bar and this is the first page of the search results. So for this exercise, I will be using Selector Gadget, which is an extension on Chrome browser. It is a point and click CSS selector that basically helps you select the CSS code that's responsible for um, the items that you want to pick out. So this is where you can um, download and install the extension on your Chrome browser. It's basically a pretty easy step-by-step um, -step process, uh, installation process. Uh, from this page so if you don't already have it um, you know uh, download it from this site I'm including the link underneath the video so once you install it it will show up on your Chrome browser right here and normally it's not activated but if you click on it and it will be you know that it's activated when you see the, all these colored boxes shows up whenever you hover your mouse um, on the page and you will see this bottom right hand corner box here that shows you uh, what you are picking out so basically um, if I would like to pick out the prize so then I'll just click on the prize and then and then it will show up here the CSS code that's responsible for all the prices. And uh, if I want to pick up address, it will be the dot list card ADDR. And if I'm interested in, for example, the type of homes, it will be um, dot list card type. Um, so it takes a little bit of a practice to get used to this clicking thingy. Um, I mean, from my experience, it can get a little bit confusing because sometimes you, um, sometimes it overlaps, like things just, like you accidentally press price together with the headings. And so it shows up like this, which is, I mean, to me, it's, it's kind of confusing, but uh, what I do normally is I would just clear it and start all over again, make sure that um, you're clicking on the, the the thing that you want to pick out. Okay, so let's see how this works with RFest. Okay, so this is the code that we'll be using. I'm going to first set the right working drive and then um, upload all the packages that we need. And then I'm going to set the web address to URL base and using read underscore HTML from RVS. I'm going to read that web page to ZPG. And the next step is a scraping step where I'll be using HTML notes and HTML text. So the CSS code that we picked out just now from the web page, that will be the input to HTML notes and we'll pipe that into HTML text to return the final text version. So here I'm picking out price, heading, address type and details and we'll save that into a data frame um, and we'll take a look at how it looks like there you go so we have 40 observations which matches the number of home listings that we saw on the on the page and with the five variables that we um, have chosen to pick out so this is how the data frame looks like with the first six observations. And so essentially the scraping part is done at this point. So the next few steps will be um, picking out the information that we need and throwing out what we don't want. So the first step, I'll be um, creating a new variable, uh, which represents the number of bed bedroom for each premise. So with that, I'm going to be using sub str from the stringer package. And um, for the um, sub str command, the first argument is the column that we want to extract. And second argument is the first position, so the starting position and the 
last argument is the ending position. So here we'll be extracting starting from position one up and including position two. Okay, so let's take a look. And this is how it looks like. Um, so as you can see, ST from studio um, is being returned here and um, it's not really what uh, I want. Uh, it's pretty meaningless at this point. So I'm gonna clean it up a little further, take out the ST and return NA. Okay, so, and then I'm going to use str extract all. And so this is the final uh, version of the variable. It looks very clean. Um, so the next variable that I want to create is bathroom. So the number of bathrooms for each premise. And using the same method that we use to create a bedrooms. Uh, but this time we'll be starting at position five and up and including position seven. And so this is how it looks like. And we'll clean it up a little bit more to return the final version. Okay. So the last variable that I want to create is the square footage. So with that, I'll be using the um, regular expression command as well to tell sub str where to start and where to end. So meaning it will start extracting starting from position A from the character A up and including character FT. So that's what it says here. And so I'm going to run that real quick. And it looks kind of clumsy here and, you know, um, really disorganized. And so I'm going to clean up a little bit more and take out the A in front and SQF in the back. And so to do that, um, I'm going to be using STR removed. So let's run that real quick. And the final version of the square footage variable looks like this. And it's very clean with just a number of square footage, So, which is great. So now we have the three new variables that I've created. Um, and I want to bind that to the original data frame. So using C bind. So we'll do that real quick. And because the three new variables are essentially information from details um, column, and that um, is essentially the same information in the heading column as well. So I'll be taking out both columns to avoid redundancy. So we'll do that with the select command. And then let's take a look at the final data set. And let's take a look for everything, all 40 observations. So this is exactly what I wanted with um, price, address, type, uh, bedroom, bathroom, and square footage. So the last step will be exporting the data frame into a CSV file. And so we'll do that. And let's take a look in our document folder. And this is the Excel file that we managed to generate with all the variables nicely exported. So we can see it all for 40 observations. So this is the end of the uh, video exercise and uh, I hope you like it and uh, happy scraping.